Welcome to The Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Adriana Brizuela, and we're here today at the beautiful PBS 39 Studios at the Steel Stacks campus in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Today we have a very good friend of ours, Chef Tony Clark from the Valley Forge Casino and Resort, and his lovely um, assistant, Andrea. So, thanks for being here. Good to see you again. Uh, well, I'm, not, I'm not lovely. Huh? <laughs> well, you're lovely too. I know, I know, I know. We'll get there. I'm sorry. So, we're really kicking today. We're going to have some fun. Yeah, right? I understand I so. we're making some seafood. Yeah, we're going to see some seafood going on here. Great. So first we're going to make it like a crab soup. So we're going to take the potatoes. So we're going to put a little salt in this water. Okay. Okay. And they're, they're kind of big, but I like them like that because once we... Beautiful. The potatoes. They'll, they'll cook nicely, not that they're yeah. cubed like that. Yeah. We can get rid of that container. And we're going to cover that up. All right, so we're going to make a crab soup. Great. Not bad, right? So what else will be in the soup with the crab? Crab. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Lots that. of crab. No. Crab on no. crab. Crab on crab. Yes. I know. No, we get, we have crab and corn with potato. Okay. Okay, so we start with a little oil. All right, we're going to take a little bit of a uh, shallot, uh, scallion, or whatever. So, um, shallot. Shallot. Thank yes. you. Oh, I'm so glad you helped me out it with that. Looks good. Oh no. Okay. Okay, we're going to put that in there. Put a little okay. bit of corn, not all that corn, because I want some of it as a garnish. Okay. So about. Three quarters, that's would you perfect. say? That's perfect. That's okay. enough. So what we're going to do is cook some of the mise en place now, mm -hmm. and then we're going to puree it, so it gives it part of the uh, the, the part of the body of the uh, soup. Sure. Okay. Now. Uh, Add to the nice texture too. We're also doing a monkfish ragu. We have a nice rondeau here. Nice and hot pan. Yeah. And what will be going in here first? Some uh, cipollini onions. Look at it. Right? Love cipollini. Yeah, me too. They're beautiful. Grazie. Do you speak Italian? No, it's a, no, not yeah. at all. I'm what do you Italian. speak? Um, English. Yeah, that's good. That's what I speak. <laughs> Me too. Well, we'll, we'll get along real well. Okay, so we're just going to saute these a little, but not too much color. Okay. Okay. We have some ruby chard. I like the red ruby chard. So this is the stem from the Swiss chard that we removed from right, the leaf. From the leaf. Okay. They cook differently, yeah. so I separate them. Okay. It's mm -hmm. kind of nice too because you're not wasting any part of the chard. I waste nothing. Away. Yeah. I have five children. I didn't waste one. <laughs> Make use of everything. I know. All right. We put them all to work. Okay, so Perfect. we're going to saute that up. I'm going to put a little garlic down. Okay. Going to chop the garlic. Mm hmm Okay. Let's just throw a little bit of garlic in there. How are we doing? Okay, let, um, let's put a little ch uh, chicken stock in that. It's a little garlic in both of these? Yes. Or? Okay. Let's see how we're doing. A little bit more. Oh, you're doing good. A little bit more. Perfecto. All right. So we don't want to add too much because we're going to be pureeing this in the blender in a, in a few moments. Yes, and plus I'm going to use heavy cream, so. Oh, very nice. Heavy cream. Make it a little more rich. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what part of Jersey you learned a lot of the seafood dishes that you like? Well, I, I was um, raised in a, like, Wildwood Cape May area on okay. the shore. Yeah. And I worked at a restaurant that was right on the bay, Lair's Dutch Kitchen. Lots and, of fresh seafood. Well, my dad, my mom didn't want me in the house. She said, gotta get a job. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm sure she didn't mind having you around. No, she did mind. <laughs> okay. yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> How are we doing? Is that good? Are we have salt and pepper in there? Got a nice simmer. Okay, let's put some pepper in there. Got it. Okay, you can put a little salt. Sounds good. You can put salt in both and pepper in both. All right. That's good. That's perfect. Nice little that's healthy pinch. I know, that's it. I know how to pinch some salt. Oh, yeah, you got that down. <laughs> we just want to keep an eye on this and keep it... Keep okay. it that they yeah. doesn't get any Keep color. Keep it moving so it doesn't burn. Put that in the blender. Carefully. So while we're working some of the soup and the sautéed vegetables, why don't you tell us a little bit about Valley Forge Casino and Resort? Oh, that's where I work. I work at uh, I have two restaurants, three okay. restaurants actually. Okay. Viviano. Uh huh. See how I said that? Viviano. The, 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 did, did I say it right? Well, I'm I'm Irish Polish, so did, did I say it right? <laughs> You're asking <laughs> me. Okay. <laughs> Sounded good to me. I know. So this is a jalapeno. Yeah, there's a healthy amount of jalapeno uh, in I here. I like that. And we're gonna need that pot again, love. Okay. And uh, Pacific Prime, which is a steakhouse. Okay. Let's get all this out of here. And then we have um, the uh, lounge, Cameo Lounge. Okay. So we have uh, nice three, ma three uh, menus in each one. Mm -hmm. And we just have fun. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna puree this, but we gotta be careful when you put hot stock hot in a blender. Yeah because then you'll start wearing it. So you're taking the top piece out. Just to blow that air out, okay. but you gotta be careful. Yep. And see this? This is another move. The magic trick. And I started with the slow. 
Okay, if you start too high. That's when it will go everywhere. That's when you wear it everywhere. Okay, we're just gonna puree that about two minutes, then we're gonna put it back in here. Stay tuned for more of The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. Okay, now we have the tops of the... Tops of the shard. Right. Beautiful. Nice. I do love the red shard. It's got Me such too. a nice color. It gives a nice pop to the uh, And I like the flavor, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are right, you want to toss that around? Okay. We're going to put some dandelion greens in there just for a little bitterness to it. Sure. And flavor. Can't say I cook with dandelion greens too often. No? No, but I'm excited to try them in this dish. Yeah, well... You know what a dandelion capital of the world is? Um, you were at my other show. You better know. <laughs> I know. I'm dying a blank. New Jersey. New Jersey. You know the great state of New Jersey. That's right. Awesome. Okay, now we're, let's turn this back on. Well, that's looking good. Okay. So we'll let this rest a little bit. Wilt down. So we're back to the soup now. Yes. The crab, corn, potato okay. soup. We're going to put it down and taste it. Why taste, do we taste? Taste doesn't make go. sure it tastes good. And if we don't taste, if it don't taste good, what happens? You fix it. We're closed. <laughs> All right, that's it. No one's coming. No one's coming. Okay. Taste. Okay. I could eat that. Yeah, it's not good. Taste. You don't think it's good? Well, I didn't say it was good. <laughs> it's delicious. Like, I thought you oh, said I it's like not it. good. Delicious. Okay, now we're just gonna put this in here. Okay. We we'll take some heavy cream. Keep going. I'll tell you one. Well, we're almost done now. Exactly. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. All right. So all the awesome. cream's down. That's awesome. That's looking good. Okay. Let's check a potato. Let's see how we look. Get a spoon. Perfecto. All right. Let's see the texture on it. I really want it soft. So will you want the potato cooked all the way? Like, yes. will it cook more in the soup yes. anyway? Yes. Yes. Yeah, taste it. Okay. How much more time? Probably like two minutes. Okay, great. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay. Okay, now, what we're going to do. All right, what's next? We're going to throw some tomato in there. Lovely, fresh tomato. Mm -hmm. Nothing like a Jersey tomato. Well, there's nothing like Jersey, period. <laughs> huh? Can you imagine this country without New Jersey? I can't. I know, it'll be closed. All right, beautiful colors. So we're going to let that tomato cook down a little bit. Now we're going to cook the monkfish. Poor man's lobster, as it was once referred to. Now a poor man can't afford it. <laughs> That's right. Why don't we salt and pepper them? Okay. Beautiful white filleted mm -hmm. fish. Nice and high. We want to get all, everything in there. I did hear that once. Nice and high, so it's evenly distributed. Yes, so it drops like snow. Right? Yes. You see this? Oh, you're much better at it. I, I've been You've doing You've had it a, a little time. more practice. Can I have the pepper mill? All right, love. Thank you. And then we're going to flip them over and do the other side. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to saute these on a really hot pan. We're going to pan, put it right on this flat top yes. here. Okay. But I'm going to make a couple things first while we're getting this ready. Okay. All right. So, so that's a little parsley bit. Parsley and a little chive and a ragu. In the refrigerator, if you can get me the uh, chicken stock. Sure. And pour a little bit in here. How we done? Good. Check the potato. All right. You say when. Perfect. I didn't say when. Oh, you're said, right, you didn't. I said perfect. Don't play games with me. I know. I'm training your husband. <laughs> Olive oil. Olive oil, the monkfish. How does that taste? They're done. Okay, you want to strain them? Yep. Did you want me to olive oil both sides of this? I would love that. Be careful of this. Sure. That's it. Let's say we can't find monkfish easily at the store. What would be um, a nice this, substitute? Many fish. I mean, I think the, the thing is, you know, this, this applies everywhere. You have fresh ingredients. Fresh fish, mm -hmm. you know they work. They work together. Yeah. You know? Okay. So listen, I want I want you to do is I want you to taste the regular to see if it has enough salt, enough pepper. Okay. Do you know the answer? No. Okay. I just don't want to be wrong. No, you won't be wrong. Right into the soup. Take your time. That's it. I love that. Okay. We get rid of this. How's it I go? I think it needs a little salt. Okay. Add some more. Tastes delicious otherwise, though. Okay, now we're going to put some green onions in there. I love green onions. And look how much I put that's in there. That's a lot. That's, that's, that that's, that's, is green. That's, it could be called green onion soup. It, it could be. But if you if you would, you would take that 99 cent thing of green onion <laughs> and add this, would you call it green onion no, soup? No, I would not. No. 
That looks beautiful. This is jumbo lump crab meat. Jumbo lump, okay. Okay. All right, we're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to taste the seasoning. We're going to get rid of this. All right, that looks awesome. Yes, this okay, looks now. great. Get the pan oiled. There's not much. Oh, this is perfect. You can tell it's hot. It's smoking. That's when you want it. It's smoking. Okay. Hear that sound? Yes. Nice what's, sizzle. What's that mean? It means it's cooking. We're ready. Hello. <laughs> hey. Perfecto. What are we going to use the lime for? Are we going to finish it off with yes. some lime? Yes. Oh, very nice. Brighten it up with a little no, acidity. No, no, no. We'll yeah. finish off. I, I see what you're doing. I, I, you're getting there. I'm on your page. I know. I see that. <laughs> you're missing the book. So how's it taste? Let's get a spoon. Let's taste it. Really uh, infuses a beautiful so flavor. Think maybe I know what I'm doing. You're right. I don't know why. Second uh, guess too. I, I don't know. That's all right. Now, will the soup thicken the longer it cooks, or as it reduces down? Yes. But we're just going to bring it to a boil. Okay. And then make sure everything's perfect. And I like it kind of like that. Stay tuned for more of the Chef's Kitchen. We're back with more from the Chef's Kitchen. So, how long will the fish sear for before you flip it? Until it's done. How about for those of us that aren't as talented as you? Okay, until it's done. Okay. No, you know, you know what it is? No, I'm, it's, it's almost, you can see it right here. It's like it's it's still raw a little bit, but it's starting to cook. Yeah, I you can see the fish, edges. I cook to... my fish like maybe 60% of the way, 70% of the way on the one side, and then flip it over and then take and it then out. And then finish it. Done, it's finished. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So we want to try to make sure all the veg is in the middle, mm -hmm. and then we're going to pour the sauce on the outside. Okay. okay. You do that. Beautiful on the white plate too. Okay, I'm going to. You want me to plate more I'll of it? Right, yes. Okay. Right in the middle. Okay. There you go. Take your time. How much of this should I put on the plate? That, well, a little bit more, right in the middle. The one thing about when you're cooking with greens is they cook down so much. Mm -hmm. You think you okay. have a ton and you don't. It looks so good, doesn't it? It looks great. We'll take the, the jus. Beautiful colors again. It's going to go great with the monkfish. So we, what will you do? Just lay that over top then? Around it. Oh, around it. Okay. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Let take this away. Let her do it. Oh, you got it. She's got there. All right, now what you're going to do is we're going to... Nice brown. Okay, do that. Okay. Oh, this is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the key of the hot pan makes it easy yeah, to yeah, get that sear. And it good for stick flipping. And it sears in all the juices. Yeah. That's I love that. Okay, and now we right. sprinkle on the chives and the parsley all over. The fish? All over the fish. All right. Nice fresh note. Hold that. They'll cook a little okay. bit. Parsley. All right. How's that looking? Awesome. You want me to Squeeze it all over. All right. Test my muscles. Everywhere. That's good. Smells so good when the lime juice hits mm -hmm. the uh, grill pan. Okay, let's just sit that there. Let's get rid of these. Okay, now let's check our soup. What do you think? It's out of boil. What's it taste like? Tastes delicious. Delicious. Yes, tastes like delicious. Delicious. <laughs> well, corn. Can't go, can't go wrong with that. Well, the corn, the reason why we didn't put that many ingredients in with corn because it's so subtle. Mm -hmm. So we, we really want the corn to, to step up. Yeah. Okay, let's taste the soup. Okay. And let's just see if we have enough flavor. Is there enough salt and pepper? Maybe a little bit more. Okay, we want to do that. Okay, get in there. Mm. So you can taste a little bit of the corn, right? Yeah. You definitely can. That's pretty amazing how that happens. The green onion and mm -hmm. the corn both infused right. into the cream. Mm -hmm. Let's get some pepper mill and let's go to town. Stir that up. Would you say the fish is done or should we give it another I minute? turned it off. So oh, you turned it off, just, so we should be good. real nice and, okay. Great. I love the potatoes in this. 
Not only does the green onion add a nice flavor infusion, mm -hmm. but it also gives a nice pop of color mm -hmm. to an otherwise like creamy dish, especially with the white crab meat. You heard of Manhattan clam chowder? I have heard, heard of, of it. You heard of uh, New England clam chowder? I have. Are you about to tell me something about New Jersey clam chowder? No. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell you something about New Jersey crab chowder. Oh. <laughs> All right, you got me. I know. I thought I was on to you. <sighs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Just when I thought. I have four sisters, two older, two younger, all within six years. Mm -hmm. I didn't see the bathroom until I was 13 years old. <laughs> you think you're going to come on the show for the first time with me and get me, right? I thought I had a no, shot. No, 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 no. No, you're no. right. Okay, so look. So we're going to put this down on the table. We're going to do this, and we're going to hit it with some pepper and okay. a little bit of fresh chives on top. If you can take that over there, that'd be perfect. And you said a little fresh chive over this? Mm -hmm. It's going to go really nicely with the jus from the sautéed chard and dandelion greens. What, what, what other kind of job could a fat man have but cook? That's what I want to know. I'm huh? not answering that. You're not? No. You were thinking it. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, no. That looks great. And this is a great dish. You can serve that almost family style. Yeah. Everyone can kind of plate some. Uh, that's fantastic. Okay. We can put that over, over there. Okay. Fantastic. So what else are we garnishing with? I'm just going to put a uh, fresh tomato right? your suggestion. Are you going to go with my suggestion? Yes. Yay. See, that's most trained men do that. <laughs> All right, put that in the center. Okay. Salt and pepper on top of the tomato. Give me one, one you have in the sink over there. Salt and pepper. And do it with like, you know, like. You're going to throw the salt into the oh, air? Oh, you know, like, you know. A little with, flare? With show. Yeah, flare. Flare? Uh, yeah, flare. Okay. That looks Seasoned killer. up, it looks great. We'll be right back with more from the Chef's Kitchen. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen. All right, so this is perfect. Now let, let me make a little salad. Okay. And we're ready to rock and roll. Sounds right, good to me. Let me get that bowl out of the uh, Sure thing. Okay, so one of the things I like with salad is fresh garlic. Did you need the lemon also? Yes. Fresh you like garlic. fresh garlic in the salad? I absolutely do, but no, wait, in absolutely. the vinaigrette? Yes. Yes. I use it and quite often. Do you? I love garlic. Do you? Mm hmm Do you? I do. Okay. Do you? I do. We do. All right. Three Everybody garlic does. lovers. <laughs> All right. Let's put a little salt on that garlic. Salt on the garlic. Right in it. Oh, in it. Yes. Another one. What is this technique? This is the salt technique. That's perfect. Okay. Oh, you're going to... Okay. What am I going to do? What's Mash it. Make a paste. A paste? A paste. Mm -hmm. Is it pasty? It's getting there. So why is it a paste? It's not know. just as pow. Oh, Emulsifying the vinaigrette. Oh my gosh. Did I use the right okay. word? Yes, yeah, the word, oh my gosh. It's an amazing word. Okay, so let's take a little oil. Olive oil. Some lemon juice. I'm trying to get the juices I like that. for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're just making a simple lemon vinaigrette mm -hmm. for the salad? Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper. A lot of salt, isn't it? Do you think it's too salty? No. I may make it too salty. Never. All right, You're where's perfect. the greens? We'll find out when we taste it. Okay. Did you ever make anything too salty? Yes. I hope you didn't make it too salty today. No. I'd fire you. All right, so <laughs> micro greens paid? here. You're not getting paid. <laughs> yeah, put the greens in. Sure. Okay. Let's toss it around. Right here. Come over here. What's that? Put that away. Hands. This is magic. Use your hands. This is love. How's it taste? It's good. Fresh, right? Yes, yeah, very fresh. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Tomatoes, greens. Nice, simple, fresh salad. Mm -hmm. Go nicely with our two warmer dishes okay. of the monkfish and Let's the crab soup. You ready to taste? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Finish pouring some of this white wine here. Go nice awesome. with our Definitely. seafood dishes. I love that. I love wine. Oh, you're going right in for it. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Let's try right. the soup first. All, All right. right, everyone dive in. It's looking. Try to eat the crab meat, potato. Yeah, definitely trying to get a little bit of everything. Mm. Very rich. The mm. potato makes it nice and velvety. Mm -hmm. Beautiful dish. Fourteen dollars. Fourteen. Uh, yeah. All right, that's because it's not green onion soup and it's crab uh, soup. Exactly. Right? All right. 
We're gonna taste the monkfish now. Okay. I see how much juice the monkfish put out as well. Yeah, it probably adds some nice flavor yeah, to the jus that was already there. Mm. $26.95. Super fresh. Really mm -hmm. refreshing. That's good. You having fun? Delicious. Only thing left is some of the nice microgreen salad. Are real clean and Very fresh. crisp. All we have left is a little yeah, cheers no. and a sip of Absolutely. the wine. Thank you, Andrea and Chef Tony, for coming to the Chef's much. Kitchen. Welcome aboard. Come back soon. We hope to see you, you again. You too. Oh, you too. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Up. Cheers. For the viewer who is passionate about food and wine, the Chef's Kitchen provides tips and techniques from the country's most exclusive restaurants. Tune in next time to see one of the nation's top chefs, such as George Perrier, Roberto Donna, Jose Garces, Michael Schlau, or Tony Clark, as they share their culinary talents and unique creativity. Learn how to make the delectable dishes and hip creations they're serving in today's restaurants, or impress your family with a culinary twist on tonight's dinner. Check our website for listings in your area or today's recipe.